Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you, Lord, take all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with the child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. A very terrible situation. A very terrible situation. In other words, there is panicking. There is panicking somewhere. <laughs> Child of God, Daniel is not dead. <laughs> you are the Daniel in this generation. You are not dead. Though. <laughs> oh God, they did not just throw you to the wolves. They wanted to feed you to the wolves. They wanted to feed you to the lion. You know, there is something like throwing you to the wolf. When you are thrown to the wolf, at least you can defend yourself. You can run. You can maybe hit and say there is a way of escape. But that was not the case. They wanted to feed you to the wolf. In other words, being locked up with the lion. That is why I said you are the Daniel. <laughs> The Daniel of this generation. Child of God, you have very well. You are not dead. You are not dead. Though you are you were thrown inside the lion's den. There is panicking among your enemies. Though the gates, the cave was locked, those stones was rolled to the cave so that even if you want to escape from the lion, from the wolves, you will not find a way of escape. But you have to know, there is a God that can shut the mouth of a lion. And that God make a way of escape. Daniel did not even fight, run to the door and start pushing the cave. He did not start running up here, there and jumping on top of the lion. He only stood still because he already said that, uh -uh, this situation, there is no way, where is he going to run to? Roto, they, they only they brought him to be fed, not to be attacked by the by the lion, just to be eaten up. <laughs> by the what happens when the king find out the lion did not eat Danny? Everyone that threw Danny there that conspire against the man, they were panicking. They were panicking. Because whatsoever a man soweth, he reap. Because they know it was not time for them to reap the evil that they have sown. They know that it is not time for them to eat their own ways. They start panicking. Child of God, a terrible situation. Why? Because you are not dead. It is time for them to face it. It is time for them to face it. They should not panic because you cannot sow orange and expect a watermelon. Whatsoever a man sow, he reap. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Daniel is not dead. Daniel is alive. <laughs> Permit me to call you that Daniel <laughs> in this scenario, in this situation. <laughs> Because you are not dead. You are alive. You are alive. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.